Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for those of you new here, uh, go to bookmap.com and uh, you get a free trial for 14 days. It also opens up uh, the uh, access to uh, our uh, educational resources, one of them being the advanced order flow webinar that will start in about 28 minutes, okay, at 11 uh, Eastern. And um, you can reach us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, then, uh, let's see, I wanna show you some of the resources here. Uh, you can um, subscribe to our uh, Twitter account here or follow us on Twitter at bookmap underscore pro uh, for the latest uh, uh, information on things. Um, we, we had some new videos that come out uh, that we just produced recently, so um, I'm going to show you that here. You can also follow us on um, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, so uh, a few new videos that are, were uploaded and that, which you guys might find uh, pretty useful. Okay, uh, let's go down to the features and components here. We'll click on this. Okay, and that brings up the, um, as you can see here, the uh, uh, the playlist, uh, all the different features and components. Okay, uh, some of the newer ones. Uh, we just put together one, and I'll, I'll put together another uh, as well uh, for the uh, one-click trading. So this is one on the trade control panel. I'm going to copy these and put them into the uh, a chat box here for you in the go to webinar okay so that one there is on the um, trade control panel uh, here is another and this is on the aggregate uh, new aggregate number all right um, that we show with the last traded volume uh, we also have some new features uh, that's a new feature in uh, bookmap build um, uh, 58 for uh, 6.1 and this one, the new new candlestick uh, features uh, as well for Bookmap 6.1 Build 58. And there's that video. Okay. Uh, let's see. We also have a new video snippet uh, as well. Okay. So I want to sh want to show you that. Okay. And that is right here. Context of volume and liquidity in a trend. Now you probably you may, you may have gotten the email. Um, uh, but, uh, if you didn't, uh, I mean, there's some new traders in here, so, uh, they're not signed up yet. Uh, and, um, uh, just uh, want to show you some of the resources, uh, and, uh, uh, understand that, uh, uh, features and components and looking at the book map basics is what we do in this webinar. Uh, and then in the, uh, advanced order flow webinar, uh, we look at things similar to the, um, uh, this video, I just, uh, I sent you the link. Uh, the context of liquidity uh, and volume in a trend. Okay, so really understanding uh, some of the details uh, in the order flow, uh, and then how to start to anticipate price uh, movement based on it, uh, and uh, that will allow you to kind of pinpoint uh, your entries, exits, and trade management. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what else is new here. Uh, might be everything. Ah, um, no, not everything. I'm going to give you guys also a link to the, um, uh, webinar for later today for those of you who are not in trial yet. Okay. So just, uh, so you can get a taste of what the, uh, uh, live, um, uh, order flow webinars are like and what we do in those. Uh, we don't go through the, the platform much, uh, at all. Uh, but uh, we we really just dive into the uh, uh, into the uh, the live market and understanding what's going on with with current price. Okay, so let me give you this link here. Okay. All right, so that last link there, you can see you can sign up for the uh, advanced analysis webinar that will be in uh, uh, roughly. Uh, uh, 23 minutes or so. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's jump into Bookmap uh, and um, what's going on here. Uh, we can see the. Um, we're going to look at the Nasdaq. 
Uh, we saw some uh, volatility yesterday and uh, a lot of short squeezing as well. Uh, and that seems to be the uh, continuation of that uh, uh, today uh, as we move back to the upside. And now we're just kind of going sideways in this pretty, pretty massive channel here. Uh, so let's take a look. All right, so here's our 930 cash open. All right, uh, pretty interesting to see that high liquidity come in here right uh, just before the open, as you can see. Uh, so uh, a lot of, lot of interested uh, traders up here to sell. Okay, larger players, uh, resting uh, orders up here, uh, limit sell orders. Okay, where are the buyers? Well, they're down here uh, at this uh, 6110. All right, so uh, that much we know. Uh, and um, uh, let's get into, though, what uh, what you're looking at here. All right, so uh, for a lot of you uh, that are new here to Bookmap, I uh, need to go through and understand what it is you're looking at in the chart here because it looks like this is a lot of information. It's actually really simple uh, and straightforward. Uh, a candlestick is uh, uh, more complex in concept than what you're looking at here, okay? Uh, so let's, uh, we're gonna, we have a indicator sub panel here. Uh, this is a, a cumulative volume delta indicator. Uh, and, and so we do have indicators, okay? Um, uh, we, we also have uh, indicators here uh, with the, um, uh, this is the user guide. Hold on just a minute. Okay. We also have indicators here at bookmap.com. Um, so uh, let me, let me just show you this quickly here, uh, with the pricing and the, and the free trial that you get. Okay. So bookmap basic, bookmap advanced, bookmap quant, uh, you get the 14 day free trial, uh, for these products here. Uh, you can see the price here. Uh, the difference between the two is this ability to trade from the chart, and these are other indicators that we do have. Now, these are proprietary indicators that we developed uh, that, that cover specific uh, order flow phenomena uh, that we witness in Bookmap. Okay, so they're not your typical RSI, MACD, stochastics uh, type of indicators. Okay, uh, we also, uh, I also showed you we have the uh, subchart here uh, that shows a, a cumulative volume delta. Now, that said, uh, what you're looking at here in Bookmap uh, is uh, is very straightforward market data. Okay, we're looking at three things. We're looking at historical best bid and offer. Okay, that that's how we're displaying price is historical best bid and offer. Uh, and then uh, we're showing the volume. The volume dots here are showing you where uh, the volume traded on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, and um, we're showing you the size, what type, how much, and when. Okay, and that's very important information. Uh, and um, and the last thing that we're showing here in the heat map that you can see, all of this grayscale heat map in these areas, this is the historical view of the limit order book. Okay, so if I zoom in here, okay, and I look at the limit order book in book map, okay, this is it here, the COB column. Right, it's showing me the uh, current uh, best bid and offer right now here, okay? And uh, then we see the depth here on the offer and the depth on the bid, All right? So we turn this information into a heat map, okay? Graphical uh, representation of this, uh, these numeric values in the, in the heat map uh, or in the limit order book. So we see 89 contracts here. It's pretty, pretty high liquidity in the book. So we, we've painted it pretty bright here. All right, and we record it to the left of this vertical white line. This is all historical data, okay? So we're starting to understand the auction that's going on down here historically. So as I zoom out, we have a really good understanding of the bigger picture of that auction. So that's what we're showing here. Now let me go through it in detail, and we're gonna start off with the candlesticks, uh, and um, then uh, we will uh, start to layer on the information to, to get a, a better understanding of, of really what it is uh, you're looking at here. Now, you can see we have these little um, uh, new features here uh, on the candlesticks too. So this is a, a new new, new um, uh, feature that we have in this new build 58. It's showing you the VWAP. Okay, this um, let's try to find a distinction here. Uh, all right, so this one's probably, or this one's probably the cleanest. Uh, this line going across here is the VWAP, all right, of that candle. So this is, we're showing you where the volume is actually trading on this candlestick, all right? So we're, we're showing actually quite a bit more than a, than a regular five-minute candlestick chart will show. Uh, and then we're also showing you the VWAP of the, um, 
of the buying volume here and the selling volume here. Okay, so you get a, get a pretty good understanding of uh, uh, kind of the uh, volume weighted average price of the uh, of the volume within that five minute period. Okay, so anyway, uh, I find this a little distracting for this presentation, so I'm going to disable it for now. We're just going to look at the straight candlestick. Okay, and uh, so open high, low, close, uh, and we see the bodies and the wicks. Okay, we all know what candlesticks are are displaying here. However, there is a lot of data that's not being displayed, and that's that's the problem here. Okay, we want more transparency to make more insightful trading decisions. Okay, one of the problems that we're seeing here uh, is that since we aggregate back and forth within a, a five-minute period, there's all sorts of data that we don't see in microstructures. Okay. Well, we can solve that issue by just turning on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, so here's some of the microstructural areas that we can see. Okay, so let's zoom into uh, to this area here, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so this five-minute period here, well, we see some buying pressure come in from the previous period, uh, and then we continue to the downside here. Okay, but there's structures within this, and, and they're significant. Okay, we went sideways here for a bit, and then we broke down, went sideways for a bit, and now we broke up above this structural area here, okay? Uh, we're gonna see uh, aggressive buying uh, in this area, and it pulled up above that area, and this is uh, gonna, gonna place the low for the day. Look at the re retest of that area, okay? Retesting where we broke from in this structure. This is giving us a lot of insight here. So let's turn on the volume to see exactly what occurred, okay? So what I'm showing here in the volume uh, is the, uh, let's zoom into an area, and uh, I'll, I'll go through it in detail here. Okay, so his, this is the historical best bid and offer, all right? So let's zoom into this little area here, uh, and um, so historical best offer, red line, historical best bid, the green line, okay? And these are, these are transactions that took place on the best bid and offer, okay? A green dot is an aggressive market buy order. It's aggressive because someone hit the market buy button, they wanted into the market immediately and were willing to pay up the spread. Okay, instead of waiting uh, at a specific price level with a limit order. All right, so they took liquidity off of the best offer here uh, and uh, transaction with the seller. Okay, the red dot is the opposite. It's an aggressive market sell that took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay, now, uh, that's it. That's all we're showing. So as I zoom out, though, okay, you know, we can we can actually zoom into you know these these levels here and see really minute details down to nanosecond uh, levels. We're down at microsecond here. We can continue to zoom. It 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 really doesn't matter. Um, but uh, the point is that we're giving you every single uh, bit of information that came into the market. Okay, it's all still available here. Okay, so we're showing you uh, uh, a very, very objective view of what occurred in, in, the, uh, in the market. However, uh, as I zoom back out, we take that data, okay, and then we're going to give you an overall understanding of it as I zoom out. Okay, the data is still here, but graphically, uh, we have now uh, displayed it uh, as a bigger dot. So you understand that there was a lot of buying up here compared to some of the other areas. All right, so this, this dot here is showing a lot of selling. We can hover over these dots using the, um, uh, the data tip tool here, and it will show us exactly, okay? We see the date, the time, what was on the bid at this price level, and then the volume that traded at this price level. And you can see the volume there, I'm giving you, our book map is, is computing for you the, uh, the VWAP of that price level. Okay. If you really want to see the uh, the details, you have to you have to zoom in like I like I did previously. Okay. Okay. A little bit of latency here, uh, but um, between best bid and offer and traded volume. Uh, anyway, uh, that's what we're showing. And um, uh, now let's get into it here. So you see these pie displays uh, that that show uh, both buying and selling. Well, it's just because so many transactions took place uh, that we can only show so much. Uh, so as we compress that timeline and all of these trades into a big cluster, we give you the overall shape and delta. So down here, we know that this is about three quarters 
selling compared to a quarter buying. All right. So let's zoom into this area here that we were looking at previously. And uh, we were uh, starting to um, assume that there was aggressive buying up in uh, to raise price above this little structural uh, area right here. And indeed there is. Okay, we can see it right here. Uh, we see sellers come back for a retest, but buyers step in again. Here's another retest here. And look at this area here. Okay, look at the selling that happened down here. Right, we see very little selling. Okay, uh, so uh, what what's what's starting to occur uh, is we're, we're the sellers are exhausting out at an area where buying was found previously. Okay, and we see that buyers step in again. Okay, um, it's uh, we'd have to zoom in and, and see it in this area here, but you can start to see some of the green dots, uh, and then you see more buying up here. Okay, so we continue to break out to the upside. Okay, and uh, now what we're witnessing here is a reversal in price. Okay, all of that information here is is uh, uh, completely opaque. Uh, looking at these candlesticks, we we really have no clue uh, that that occurred. Uh, so um, uh, now we know uh, exactly uh, wh what happened in the microstructure and how the volume in the transactions occurred uh, to support uh, this this price movement. Okay, all right. So uh, that's the volume. Now the volume is just a, a piece. It's an important piece uh, of the order flow. Uh, but there's a whole nother side of it, and that's where they're bidding and offering. Okay, so. For example, uh, if we zoom out and we look at this little area down here in this little retest uh, here, well, you know, where, where were they bidding? Uh, is, is, did we exhaust out because they're bidding uh, here uh, quite a bit and the uh, sellers don't want to take them on? Will we see a wall of liquidity down here? Or will we see, um, uh, you know, maybe uh, 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 liquidity up above here that targeting areas uh, and, um, or up in this area here, and we can see, uh, again, exhaustion on the buy side up here. The buyers don't want to take on maybe uh, a wall of liquidity here uh, on the offer. Okay, so let's turn it on. All right, now we have that picture. Okay, and indeed, there is a, a wall of liquidity up here between uh, 60, 125, and, and 26. Okay, and you can see that also there... Um, uh, offering pretty high liquidity in these areas here. Okay, so uh, uh, the buyers we exhaust out, uh, and then sellers take control over in this area here. And that is still the story. Uh, so the uh, sellers have been in control since around 10, 10, uh, 18, or or 20 or so. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. So understanding this auction. Uh, is um, a pretty pretty important uh, aspect of the order flow because it has an effect on price. And uh, just think about it, uh, you know, like the 6108 here, well, we just saw them pull, okay? But this gives us insight, okay? So uh, they, they pulled the liquidity. They had high liquidity here. They wanted to be sellers at this lower level. Not not anymore, right? Now now uh, it's, it's 6109, okay, where we see the highest number of contracts. Okay, and 6105 here. Okay, it looks like we're going to test 6105, um, but uh, we'll wait and see. Uh, look at the high liquidity. Look at them layering in up here between 11 and 12, right? These are larger players, uh, and uh, they want to be sellers up in these areas here, looking for pullbacks. All right, so understanding the players uh, and uh, the uh, high liquidity that they're um, – uh, providing in the market uh, will have have an effect on the uh, on the auction. All right now we can start to understand these these areas here um, in in context uh, in in the auction. Like if they have in, intent to trade in these areas or not. Like these guys at 08, we just saw this is pretty high liquidity, uh, but they pulled. Okay, so they have no intent to trade here at 08. Now they may jump back in right now, uh, but and we'll see. But um, uh, it's, um, uh, you know, we, we can read it right here. Uh, and that we can use the um, data tip tool, 92 contracts, and, they, and it's down to 56, okay? So, or 44 even, all right? So, uh, yeah, these, these guys here, we, we can answer this question. This is fake liquidity. 
In fact, it looks kind of like spoofing type of liquidity here to skew the auction, okay, and press price down maybe into 6105. Okay, now they're bidding up here uh, at this level here. So they're showing a, a little more. Uh, now they're pulling and add, adding lower. Now we can see all these details uh, in this, and it's just uh, it gives us a lot of insight to uh, how this area may auction here. Okay, because we can see they they they're providing at higher levels here, so they want to they're bidding it up, right? So uh, they're they're kind of getting aggressive here. They want to buy at a higher level. That's going to push price higher. Okay, but then look at this guy here. We can use the uh, uh, crosshairs tool. Look how at this moment right here, he actually uh, he was bidding higher, and then he actually pulled, and then probably is you know very high probability he pulled and then added down one tick below here of the high liquidity uh, at 61.05. Okay. Right. And then you see also this uh, th these players uh, look how they're they're bidding in these areas and this guy here uh, is bidding and then raise the um, uh, the bid uh, another tick higher here. Okay, so they're getting uh, they're showing they're showing interest, they're showing intent to trade in these in these areas here, or they're showing aggressive behavior I should say. Okay, so we can make a distinct a distinction here between. Uh, longer term liquidity that stays in this book and they just par they're just parking their orders looking to get filled at these areas uh, with intent to trade uh, or uh, that shorter term high liquidity like in this area here where they really don't have any intent to trade at all uh, they're just trying to uh, skew the auction uh, or uh, who knows what their game is but what we do know uh, is that uh, they had high liquidity and they pulled it okay and we know that this has an effect on price Right. So uh, and and why is that? Well, because the auction is now different. So if you show up to any auction, like a physical auction, let's say it's for, um, you know, an automobile or a painting or something, uh, and um, all of a sudden, uh, let, let, let's say that a uh, hundred more uh, interested buyers come into the room. OK, and they're, they, they're very interested. They're, they're actually bidding up. Uh, they're kind of chasing uh, price. Okay, well, the the valuation is going to be higher, uh, so uh, th that will have an effect on price. That's what's going on in some of these levels here. Okay, that we're we're witnessing now. Okay, they're bidding up. Okay, we haven't actually seen too much of a reaction to that yet, a uh, little bit, uh, but um, uh, and we'll see. We'll see if these guys actually mean business here. Okay, we're just about to test them. We're a tick away. Let's turn off the candlesticks here. All right, well, they're staying in the book. We know that, right? We were one tick away. The sellers could have taken them on here, okay, and they did not. Okay, so understanding this context, gives us insight to what's going on with price. Okay, so we don't know. I mean, the, the sellers may, uh, they may take these guys on and trade right through them. Okay, that's possible. Okay, but um, uh, what we do know is uh, the sellers right now do not want to take them on. Okay, we can see that right here. And they're, they're staying here. And uh, we just saw a little bit of spoofing type of action right here. Okay, note, note the uh, high liquidity jumps in here and uh, and we see uh, a little bit of reaction, trading reaction to the upside here, okay? Here they go again, all right? So what, what happens in this, uh, in this context, now we, we're seeing some aggressive trades come in here too. Our transaction so you know buyers are, are lifting the offer too right and it's usually a combination uh, of both uh, that uh, that uh, sets the tone here uh, however uh, we, we do uh, we see the um, uh, a lot of times you know you'll see the uh, high liquidity here uh, and then you'll see them pull on the offer so what's going to happen then 
You know, what if, if they don't want to be sellers at, at some of these levels here at this like 08 area, and they want to be sellers up here. Well, the next transaction that's going to take place is going to be up higher because they've pulled, they pulled their liquidity. That's the next best offer. It's going to be up here. Okay. So that's what occurs uh, in the market all the time. Uh, and you'll, you'll see a spread gap. Uh, and, uh, and you'll see the transaction take place at a higher area. And there'll be a gap in the spread because the best bid will still be down lower. Okay. All of this kind of information uh, we go through uh, in uh, uh, the Bookmap um, uh, educational course, uh, understanding the uh, the market moves, sweeps of the limit order book, uh, and uh, skews in the auction and how it affects price. And that's just the beginning. Okay, then we're starting to put that into context of structure. Okay, and then we start to look for uh, opportunities. Uh, and then we, uh, and then the final part of that educational course is to uh, integrate some of the advanced features uh, and look for correlations, okay, and higher probabilities. All right, well, here we are. Now we're testing right into these guys here, and they're still staying in the book. So the answer uh, to the question, if they have the intent to trade, and absolutely they do. I mean, we can see the transaction here. Okay? And look at the sellers here. The, the, the bid continues to test. Now we're trading into them. Okay. Now they're starting to, some of that liquidity is getting filled and uh, some of it's being pulled. Okay. So it's, it's kind of a, a, a combination here. I mean, they have the intent. Uh, not much is traded here. Only 18 contracts have traded so far. Okay. But, um, you know, uh, there's another level right below it here at 06. Okay. And they are getting filled, and they are staying here. Okay, and uh, but the sellers, you know, they're just not taking the bait here. Okay, uh, they're not. They're not. Uh, um, at, at, there they go. Now, now they're taking it. Okay, so so the sellers did take these guys on. Okay, note the transactions that just occurred. Okay, now we have a little more insight to what's going on here. Okay, next level is 05 here. If the sellers are getting aggressive and we're going to trade down to lower lows here, this is where we got to go. There we go, 05, okay, 04. Okay, so we just witnessed the breakdown here, okay, and we saw how this occurred. Okay, looking now for a retest back up into this like 06 level because this is where the sellers initiated their selling. Okay, let's see if we get it, All right? So um, yeah, somewhere somewhere around here, I would say 06, uh, 06 and, and maybe a half all the way to the beginning here. All right, now I'm looking for this. So here comes, here, here's our retest, all right? Now, are the sellers still here, okay? Or is this just a stop hunt, okay? I don't see the sellers coming in to support this. I see buyers coming in, all right? So now we may have a, a test to the other side of the range here. Okay, at 08, all right? Because where, where are the sellers? Okay, we, we can answer the question. Well, they, 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 they sold here and they took these guys on, but they're, they're not coming back in right now. Okay, so we might have, uh, uh, this is a failed auction here, okay? These, these guys that sold to the downside are trapped uh, and they're gonna cover. Uh, they're gonna be buyers. These guys that sold now are gonna be buyers. Where are they gonna buy? They're probably going to be buying up here, right? And that's exactly where we're, we're starting to charge to right now. All right. Anyway, uh, I got to end this webinar, and uh, I, I gave you guys the link to the next webinar, so you can come in and uh, and take a peek. Um, uh, let me know if you need that again. Else, uh, let's. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here we are above uh, 08, up, up at 09. Okay. So we just saw that. Um, uh, just just by reading this, we we understood uh, what what was uh, was happening here. Looking for the retest, looking for sellers to support it. They didn't show up. We see buyers instead. Looking for the other side of the range, and uh, we got that, and then some. All right, okay, guys, I'll stop this recording, and I'll see you in the next uh, webinar.